What's going on everybody? Sean Daniel here with Guitar Control. Today we're learning a song that is absolutely blown up, becoming huge. It's called Somebody You Loved and is really easy. I want to talk about chord progressions. I want to do this with the cape on the first fret because it's how it's played. Make sure you click the link below because I'm going to have the lyrics and the chord chart to go along with this. And really it's essentially one chord progression you've heard a million times. It's on piano. We're doing a guitar version of it to make it sound a little bit more like a piano, I guess, arrangement wise. And there's just one variation for a bridge. But basically, the way we're going to play it is going to sound like this. Now we're gonna get to the bridge later. Basically, let's talk about this first part, right? With the capo on the first fret, the chords are C, G, A minor, and F major, okay? So this is what's known as a one, five, six, four progression, okay? What that means is there's only seven notes in the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. One, five, six, four tells you the root notes of the chords you're gonna play. So it's really easy to remember, one, five, six, four. Millions of songs throughout history have been one, five, six, four. So in the key of C, C is one. What's a five? C, D, E, F, G. G is five. What's six? A. The sixth chord is a minor chord, so it's A minor, and then four. C, D, E, F. C, G, A minor, F. Really easy to remember. One, five, six, four. Then think you'd be like, okay, capo, first fret, C major, G major, A minor. F major. Once you start turning things into numbers, everything becomes so much easier. All right. So C major, ring finger, third fret, relative to the capo on the A string, middle finger, second fret on the D string, pointer finger, first fret on the B string. Okay. C major. So without a capo, like just from what you're hearing, you're hearing a C sharp major, but we're using a C major chord. Now the way that we're going to make this sound a little bit more like the piano is by breaking up the chord into parts. A high part and a low part, okay? So when I say a high part, I'm aiming for the, the G, B, and E strings, okay? So this will be like our first downstroke, and then the low part, I'm aiming for like the A, D, and G strings. Now, if you don't get those exactly, that's fine. Just try it instead of going, break it up, okay? So to get that high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, that'll be a bar. One and two and three and four and. In fact, if you just want to get the chord and then maybe just the root note, okay, like the A string, one and two and three and four and. It kind of sounds like the piano in the original track, all right? So, a bar of C, one and two and three and four and G. The way I'm playing this G major is just my pinky and my ring finger on the third frets of the high E string and the B string, respectively. Middle finger grabbing the third fret on the low E string, pointer finger grabbing the second fret on the A string relative to the capo. And same thing. I'm just getting the higher part of the chord and then getting the root note or the lower part of the chord in between. One and two and three and four. So C to G, A minor. A minor is really easy. It's just like a C major chord, but take your ring finger and go two on the G string. It's a good way to think about it, maybe, as far as a transition between chords. Same thing. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And then now to play F major, instead of playing a bar chord, F, we're gonna do this where we're coming from A minor, right? So you keep your pointer finger on the B string, and then get your ring finger on three A pinky, three D middle finger, two G. And then you can get the, the five highest strings or just the middle four, doesn't really matter. So the whole progression, almost the entire song, is just C to G, A minor to F. And that repeats over and over again. I really try to get in the groove of going back and forth like that to create a little bit of dynamic to your playing, all right? Now there's also a bridge, which comes uh, in the last third of the song. 
The only other new chord we're going to introduce is going to be a D minor chord. Pointer finger, first fret on the high E string, pinky or ring finger, doesn't really matter. Third fret of the B string, middle finger, second fret of the G string. And then we're shooting for the bottom four strings. If you get the bottom five strings, that's totally fine. Same thing. High, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Okay? So you'll hear the change, the impact that taking this chord, which again, remember, we had a one, five, six, four progression. What number is D minor? It's not a one, five, or six, or four. In the key of C, D is two. So now we're going to the two chord, which is minor. One, two, three, four to the six chord, A minor, to the five chord, to the five chord, two chord, and again, okay? So, basically we have the same amount of slots. It's kind of like a, a four chord progression, right? But in the bridge, we have the two chord for one bar, which is D minor, one and two and three and four and, remember we go into the sixth chord, A minor, a full bar, the five chord, G, one and two and three and four and, and then that fourth bar is gonna be split between G and A, so, G and two and A minor and two and. So all together, that's gonna be D, A minor, G major, G major, A minor, back to D minor, then A minor, and then G, and space, Back to the original part. One, five, six, four. Okay, so now try to number progressions. It makes it way easier to remember any kind of song, right? And they all, 99% of the time they play by these rules, right? Seven notes in a key. That's why it helps to learn like your major scale because that'll tell you where the notes are in key those notes are always going to become the same chords the one four and five notes become major chords in c's case c major f major g major that's why you see them together all the time and the two three and six notes become minor chords d minor e minor uh, and a minor which we didn't see an e minor in this chord but that's fine you don't have to use all of them always works that way so that bridge d a minor to G, I said D, but I'm a D minor. D minor, A minor, G. That is a two, six, five, six, right? Two, six, five, five, six, two, six, five, and then some space. Then back into the one, five, six, four. One, five, six, four, and end on one. Okay? So, really important. Uh, if you're having a hard time with the numbers, really just sit down and think about it. Be thoughtful for a while because I really think that turning chord progressions into numbers is the most important thing that you can do for your musicianship that will take your music and your guitar playing, piano playing, whatever, to a whole different level. You're going to be able to recognize that in songs, and then you're going to be able to actually remember and retain a lot of song information as compared to learning a new song, not practicing it for a while, then forgetting it and feeling like you wasted your time. So I know you didn't waste your time by clicking on this video. Make sure you click again on that link below to grab the chord chart that goes with this. And then check out the other videos that I've done on the Guitar Control channel, uh, other great instructors too, and we're looking for your feedback, so let us know what you thought of this, what songs you'd like to see more of, and we'll be back to you as soon as we can. Thanks a lot.